All right, everyone. We're working with new pastels, which are a really hard chalk pastel. And I'm going in here with the initial layers of essentially local or bright color to set the ground up for subsequent layers. And the focus here is on shape first. Now I've taken and blended the pastel into the surface so that I can more easily apply the second layer on top. Pastel will have a point where you can't layer too much more without removing some of the previous layers. So some people will hit it with a little spray fix in the middle of a drawing just to give it a little bit more tooth. My goal here is to take that first layer, treat it as a base that I build the midtones or brights back on top of. At this point, I have a two value no tan relationship on the face with a light and a midtone. Now I'm putting a lot of color around in a lot of different places at this point, introducing light, dark, and midtone relationships throughout it. And since I was working from life here, it was important to balance that time and spend it kind of equally across the whole thing and not get wrapped up in any one area too long. We'll pause it here for a moment and just look at the general evenness at which it's brought up before the details start to pile on top. Some forms have started to have light, midtone, and darks. Some things are rather soft. Some things are almost complete. When we look down at the shirt, that's essentially the same. The focus of the form really gets applied more to the face as I finish the piece up here. Now I'm going to start adding the glasses in, and they end up pretty crooked at the beginning. But the good thing about pastel is that you work from a fog into stronger clarity usually. You're moving things around as you're going, giving yourself the ability to find the shapes that are accurate. Now I'm introducing Rembrandt pastel, which are a little softer pastel, so I always work with the hard first, pushing the softer on top, and that's just to fill out the palette of color that I have. Some brands of pigments have a little bit more saturation in them, and New Pastel is a little bit on the desaturated or slightly duller side. And I've really waited to this point to put the highlights in because they're such a, an important part of the image. It's easy for them to get overworked, and I want them to be fresh when they're applied. So you want to save those until you're really ready to apply them. But it's not a bad idea to have a strong highlight point somewhere as a comparison for your value relationships overall. And with some of that higher saturation pastel, I'm able to transition the lighting from the right side, which was a gelled light. It had a color coming from it. And put that high point of saturation a little bit more on the cheek. And ultimately, the rest of the face is being brought up still with mostly the new pastel, because it's a pretty bright face. I don't have a ton of saturation, and when I need those points, say between uh, the nostril wing and the face, where it gets a little bit redder, then I can introduce something that's a little bit more intense. We're starting to wrap things up using sharper edges, but still focusing primarily on shape relationships and how things gradient from one to the other. Whether that's the form turning away from the light, or whether it's the local color relationship changing from the warm part of the face to the cooler part of the face. So thank you everyone. Hope you've enjoyed watching this. And good luck with your pastels.